This is the Synology DiskStation DS920 Plus. A rather small, unassuming NAS from outward appearances, but looks are deceiving. With its 4 SATA disk bays, 4 core CPU, 4 gigs of RAM, and 2 NVMe cache disk slots, there's more to this little NAS than meets the eye. Let's take a closer look. We're no stranger to Synology's hardware. In fact, the DS2415 has been storing our video footage and backing up our virtual machines for years. That's right, and when Synology reached out to us to take a look at the DS920+, Plus, we didn't hesitate to dive in. So let's dig deep, check out the features and secrets of the DS920+, Plus, and do some network performance testing as well. Let's get to it. Let's get the base dimensions and specs out of the way first. The DS920 Plus measures in at 199 millimeters wide, by 220 millimeters deep, by 166 millimeters high. The chassis supports four SATA 3.5 or 2.5 inch hot swappable drives. When mounting 3.5 inch mechanical drives, the disc caddies are toolless, meaning screws are not needed to secure the drives in the trays, but the unit does come with screws for mounting 2.5 inch discs in the trays as well. Fully kitted out, the Synology DS920 Plus supports a maximum single volume capacity of 108 terabytes with the help of an expansion unit. Up front, the DS920 Plus has a power button, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, and individual status and disk indicator LEDs. The DS920 Plus also has a simple individual locking mechanism on each drive tray to prevent removal of the disks. Around back, we have one more USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, two 1 gig Base-T Copper Ethernet network connections, one eSATA or external SATA connection for adding a Synology disk expansion unit, and a single four pin DIN power connection. The DS920 Plus also has a Kensington lock slot for those of you looking to secure the unit. Synology publishes a compatibility list of supported drives on their website, so check there to find discs they recommend for use with the unit. Regardless of the mechanical discs you choose, we highly recommend buying drives with traditional CMR or conventional magnetic recording technology and avoid ones using SMR or shingled magnetic recording technology. The Seagate Exos X10 discs we're using in our unit are CMR drives. The heart of the DS920 Plus is an Intel Celeron J4125 CPU with a base clock of 2 GHz and a boost to 2.7 GHz. The DS920 Plus comes with 4 GB of DDR4 memory built in and features a SODIMM expansion slot hidden inside the drive bay area allowing you to upgrade the memory to a total of 8 GB. And last but not least, on the bottom of the unit we find two NVMe M.2 drive slots dedicated to disk caching. The Synology DiskStation DS920 Plus is available from Amazon for around $550 without disks. Alright, enough talk about the unit itself, let's see how it performs. Let's take a look at our Synthetic Benchmark test results using Windows file sharing. First, a word about our test setup. We connected the NAS directly to our Windows 10 Pro test PC via 1 gig Ethernet. We used Crystal Disk Mark to test the read and write performance in four different tests. Starting with our first graph, the sequential read-write test using 1 megabyte blocks with a Q depth of 8. This synthetic benchmark tests reading and writing 1 megabyte blocks in sequence. Q depth is how many requests the drive has at one time, so the more queues, the more work can be written to the drive at a given time. This test has a Q depth of 8, which is a typical average for a desktop client. And to say the results were consistent across all file test sizes would be an understatement. The Synology DS920 Plus has no problem saturating the one gigabyte connection fully throughout the entire range. It was very impressive to see this little NAS handle the sequential test like it did. Now onto our next sequential read-write test, this time with a Q depth of one. A single Q depth means that only one disk operation happens at a time, and that slows down transfers as each Q must complete before the next Q can execute. We would consider this, from a synthetic benchmark perspective, worst case scenario for sequential read-writes. And the results of this sequential test was again very consistent, but did start to show a bit of deviation from the 8Q test just a bit ago. Interestingly enough, in the single Q test, write speeds are slightly slower than read speeds on the NAS throughout the file test sizes, however, overall still impressive. Sequential file access is nice, but it's only a portion of the performance characteristics of file access. So let's take a look at the first of our two random read-write tests, starting with our random 4 kilobyte block test with a Q depth of 32. In this scenario, instead of the client reading or writing one sequential block after another, the test reads a different block randomly. Here, we begin to see the stress random read and writes place on a mechanical disk-based NAS. The DS920 Plus holds its own up until 1 GB file sizes where the results begin to drop. It is very interesting how random reads are impacted more than the random writes on the NAS. 
Now onto the results of a random 4 kilobyte test with a queue depth of 1, which is truly a worst case scenario for random access. These numbers are low, but don't be concerned too much by them. If you had applications that read and wrote in this fashion, you would not use a NAS filled with mechanical disks. Once again, this little NAS shows consistent numbers up until 4 gigabyte file sizes before dropping off. As we mentioned, single queue random read writes are very hard on NASAs with only mechanical drives, and that really shows at the largest test file size of 64 gigabytes. Synthetic benchmarks are not real life though, and while we appreciate knowing the theoretical maximums, it really doesn't tell us what to expect with daily use. So, we devised a simple file copy job between our test machine and the NAS in both directions using good old fashioned copy and paste. Here are the results of our simple real world tests. And once again, consistency is the name of the game for the Synology DS920 Plus, with both the single file and multiple file real world tests essentially being the same speeds. This is good news for anyone looking for a maximum performance on a single 1 gig NIC on a home NAS. For those of you who are completely unfamiliar with the user interface of Synology, known as DSM or Disk Station Manager, you're in for a treat. DSM presents itself to the user via a web browser and looks and functions like a desktop OS, complete with its own application start menu, desktop icons, configurable backgrounds, and more. This isn't just window dressing, so to speak, but actually an intuitive way to provide a graphical user interface for novices and experienced users alike. From within the DSM UI, a user can easily configure the NAS, provision shares, install additional apps via Synology's package manager, set up backups, and so much more. So, where does that leave us here? Simply put, the Synology DS920 Plus NAS is a very powerful little unit. The performance across most of the tests were the most consistent we've ever seen in disk tests, and that was impressive. It's clear that, for the one gigabyte connection at least, this NAS is capable of fully saturating a single connection to your network easily. Keep in mind, the NAS has two NICs, and if your home network is capable of creating an LACP trunk, you could combine them to create a two gigabit connection and potentially push even more data to the NAS. Performance aside, this NAS has one of the most user-friendly UIs on the market, and for the inexperienced home NAS user, that means a better user experience. Thanks for watching this video. We would love to know what you think, so get down those comments and tell us. Tell us what more you'd like to see us test with this NAS. We'd love to know. If this is the first time you've seen us, subscribe to us, like right now. If you like what we do here and want to be all social, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And last, get on our Discord. It's a great growing community of people who love tech and we would be happy to have you. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon.